Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a complete e-commerce project using a package called Baristo. So here you can see e-commerce project and you can create this e-commerce project really easily using a package in Laravel. So um, just like other e-commerce project, we have all the options over here, search option, the cart option, uh, the checkout option the login sign up option over here and if you go down here you can see new product then you will see feature product all product every section over here so this is a complete e-commerce project and let me just show you the admin panel so this is the admin dashboard so over here you will be able to check everything that the e-commerce project needs so here you can see the sales section and here you can see the catalog section so here in the catalog section here you can see product and here you can see the create product so once you click this you'll be able to add new product then we have the customer section where we'll be able to see all the customer and their order then we also have the reporting option uh, how many sales there is how many customer and how many product do you have and we also have the setting option we also have the dark mode available as well so this is a complete e-commerce project so I'm going to show you how we can create this project using Laravel in just 10 minutes. And I will also try to explain everything step by step from the very beginning. So let me just close those two tabs from here. And here you can see Pagisto documentation. And this is the installation part. So I'll give this link in the description so that you can just check it out. Right now I'm going to show you how we can install this package in your device. So here we have the push command install Bagisto using Composer. So in order to install that, we need to write a command Composer create project Bagisto slash Bagisto. So it will just directly create a project for us and the project name will be Bagisto. So I'm going to copy this command Composer create project Bagisto slash Bagisto. So control C and let me just go to my file explorer and let's say I'll create my project over here in my new volume f so let me just open a command prompt here i'll show over here cmd press enter let me just zoom in so here i'll just directly paste the command this command and after that i need to press enter so it will install require file for creating our baristo e-commerce project so it may take some time so while it is installing let me just show you one thing and that is some people may face a issue while installing Bagisto that I just placed so I'd like to show that to you so uh, Bagisto require a extension called GD so for a lot of people case uh, that extension GD may not be enabled in the XAM for so for it what you need to do is that let me just show you uh, let's go to my XAM so here you can see my XAM over here let's go inside and then we'll go to the PHP folder so here you can see PHP folder and inside PHP we have php.ini which is this one here you can see this is php.ini file so I'll just right click over here then open with let's say notepad and here I'm going to search for uh, let's say control A and here I need to search for this one GD then press enter and here you can see extension GD so normally what will happen is that you will see a semicolon over here. So what you need to do is that you need to remove the semicolon. Okay. So you must have this extension GD enabled while you are installing Bagisto. So we can just close this because my extension GD is already enabled. So right now, let me just check. It is still installing. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see the package installation is complete. So right now let me just close this and let me just go to the project directory new volume f and here is the Bagisto project that we just created so let's go inside and we need to open another common prompt in the project directory so we saw what here again cmd press enter and let me just zoom in so right now we already just installed the package called Bagisto. so we need to run this command right now but before that we need to set up our database so for it what we are going to do is that we'll just open our project using sublime text and here we'll click file then open folder and over here we'll go to new volume f and our project name was bagisto this one so i click on bagisto then select folder 
let me just minimize it close the previous project so over here we just directly need to go to the dot env file we we'll click dot env and here you can see db database so we need to give our database name let's say our database name will be by stop so user name for my case will be root password will be null and this is not needed right now okay so we can just save this control s and let me just open my exam apache and mysql start so let's go and go to our psmy admin click psmy admin so right now currently we are in our psmy admin so here you can see the new option we we'll click on new and we we'll create the database and the database name was bagisto that we just give over here so we'll just say over here bagisto and then click create so the database is created so after creating the database we can run our this command which is php addition bagisto install so i'll just copy this and let's go to our command prompt again paste the command and press enter and there you can see a lot of database table is migrating in our project and a link also created over here with the public with the shortest folder and there you can see the installation is complete and right now uh, here and here you can see some warning that uh, app time zone uh, and here it is mentioned that the time zone we should mention Asia or Kolkata and the currency we should give uh, USD the database name should be Bagisto and username and password will be depending on your device so right now let's go and run our project so in order to run the project all you need to do is that we need to say over here php or json surf and there you can see at the top it is showing us that the admin username is admin at the top example.com and password is admin on to three which you will also find over here you can see in the website you can see email and password for admin login so right now our project is running over here so let me just copy this ctrl c and paste it in our browser press enter so there you can see this is our project that we just created everything else is working properly as you can see we have everything so right now let's go and check our admin panel so in order to go to the admin panel all we need to do is that we need to give our here slash admin then press enter so it will take us to the login page and there you can see sign in page so here we're going to say uh, let me just copy it from here admin at the top example.com we'll paste it here and pass us this all admin on to three control c control v you can see the password from here as well click sign in and you can obviously change the email address and password once you log in as admin so currently we are in our admin dashboard so you can see the dashboard is black we can make it white so there is two mode dark mode and light mode so let's go ahead and try to add a product so over here we have the catalog option if we click catalog and there you can see it is showing us the few option product categories attributes and families let's just click product and by default at the beginning it will choose product and here you can see a uh, create product option so if we click create product we need to give a type let's say simple default sq just a random number let's say and click save product or you click save product it will take you to different page where you will be able to give the product details let's say product number random things and let's say product name is sharp uh, this will be the url key as well uh, text category that's none let's say color will be black size is excel that's my size and brand will be okay there's we need to add the brand over here we did not add any brand so a short group description let's just say shirt description shirt you can add meta title but we'll keep this empty we'll only fill the required field the price is required so let's say price will be 70 dollar cost is 50 dollar and special price is 65 dollar let's say and we can choose the special price date uh, from who is state to who is state you want to offer this price and we need to give the weight which will be 0.5 let's keep 
new feature, visibility, status, guest checkout, everything in our and quantity, we must keep the quantity, quantity will be, let's say 10 or 100, whatever, and we can, we need to add an image over here, so let's click over here, add image, and let's choose this image, click open, and we are seeing the image, we can add multiple images, let me just add multiple images, and let's choose this image, click open, so we have multiple images, so we can add related product, there's a lot of option, but we are not going to see those. We will just directly click on save product. If we click save product, it will reload. And there you go, product updated successfully. Let's close this. Okay, the image is not showing over here, image is broken. So how to do is that we'll go dot env again. And we need to find app URL, uh, which is this one. Here you can see app URL equal to HTTP local post. So what we need to do is that uh, I'll just copy this, Control C, and I'll paste it over here, Control V, and make sure to remove this slash from here, okay? Just save this again, Control S, you need to write this for app URL, okay? And do not give any slash for this. So save it, and let's refresh again, and the image issue is fixed. And here you can see, if you want to modify it, we have this option, if we now click here, this arrow sign, this will take us to this space where we will be able to update a product, save product or let's just go back. So right now, let's go to our home base. So let's go to our home base and let's see if this product is showing or not. So right now, in our website, if you go down here, you can see new product. We are able to see our product that we just added. So we have all the options over here. We can add categories for each product. We can add different categories like for male, female, for kids, electronics. We can see customer. Currently we don't have any customer data. So there won't be any data over here. But once we have customer, we'll be able to see them. Okay, let's try to register a user. Let's click here and let's click sign up. Then give the user name. Let's say Yamin, Shaquille, email will be yamin at the of gmail.com, password 1234567.8 and confirm password 1234567.8 and click register. And there you go, the account creation is successful. So we'll be able to log in here. Let's keep the password and click sign in and we are able to log in as a customer. So right now let's try to add a product. So here we'll add this product, let's say click add to cart, product is item is added successfully, here you can see, uh, we'll click here, we'll continue to check out, and then also we give the address and click confirm, the order will be submitted. So right now if we refresh, we should be able to see a customer here, and there you can see, we can see a customer here. So everything over here is perfect for a e-commerce project, you can use this for your project and if you want to modify the design or make some changes in your project here and there you can modify all the design over here as well so for example let me just go to our dashboard and here uh, you can see the configure option if you click on configure then you will see a lot of option here from start to bottom and let's just click general option and here you can choose how the weight will be it will be lbs or kg or let me just click the let's say the content option if you click content uh, here we have the compare option here you can see so if you want to remove them the wishlist option image search option uh, there you can see we have the image search option you can upload the image you can turn them off and you can also write some default css and javascript so right now if i now click save configure and if we now refresh our project here there you can see there is no image search option or wishlist option so you can modify all of them on by on from here you just need to check them out if i start explaining everything it will take like one hour so i'll just leave it up to you to check them uh, on by on so here we have the product option allow guest can a guest save a product i mean can a guest uh, check out a product or order a product there's a lot of options like social media enable option just check them out uh, by yourself so this is a complete e-commerce project 
you can modify it from any fire and the design for the e-commerce project is really great and it's simple but nice so i think this is the best e-commerce project package in laravel so i think that you will like this package a lot if you just know how to use them and how to configure them if you configure it properly you can modify every design over here so this is all for this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and make sure to subscribe for more amazing package that we have in laravel i will make more tutorial on laravel amazing packages so thanks you for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials